Hundreds of people in northern Queensland remain without power as towns are cut off by rising floodwaters. Ex-tropical cyclone Imogen is delivering heavy rainfall and damaging winds to much of the coast. Trampolines torn up and trees toppled as ex-tropical cyclone Imogen bears down on Queensland communities. We put that umbrella up. The trees were going everywhere. You could just see the trees basically looking like they're being ripped apart. These shade sails were just like a, a tissue flipping around and the water that was spraying off them was unreal. It was another day of dangerous weather across the coast. The heaviest falls were recorded north of Townsville. Upper Blue Water receiving 168 millimetres of rain in six hours. 72 millimetres fell in just one hour. Paradise Lagoon received 119 millimetres of rain. The Herbert River reaching a major flood level. As it moves, it will bring widespread falls above 100 millimetres per day. And we could potentially see falls of up to 400 millimetres in total over the next 72 hours in the region. This is likely to cause some continued flood situations. Further inland, the swollen Burdekin River cut roads in half and stranded locals. Everywhere from just south of Cairns all the way down to Air and about 400 kilometres inland is the main area. Our main concern is that flash flooding. Uh, some of these areas have got very steep uh, mountainous uh, areas, so the runoff is going to be quite um, uh, rapid. The threat is not over yet, with hundreds more millimetres of rain to fall in the coming days. Local councils are offering assistance to anyone who's concerned about their homes. We have put some sand and some sandbags for those for emergency use only, for those that need it. Um, should, should we get some localised flooding in front of our Dalrymple Road depot. So people that need those in an emergency, by all means, go and grab what you need. Power has been restored to almost 400 people in Gulf communities after the system made landfall there on Sunday. Energy workers were forced to helicopter into Corumba and Normanton to erect temporary power poles. Julia Bradley, Sky News, Townsville.